Why your videos don't always get enough views? Maybe you just lack an attractive video cover. Many YouTubers only focus on the selection of video topics and the content creating, but ignore the huge impact of video cover on clicks and views. Think about it, if the video cover is not eye-catching, it cannot attract the attention of potential viewers, and many viewers will miss your video. Of course, you might say that I also know the importance of the cover, but I can neither graphic design nor PS, it's hard to make one by myself. Don't worry, in today's video, I will introduce you a simple and fast way to create a video cover for free, and teach you step by step from scratch. Whether you are a beginner, or looking to optimize your YouTube thumbnail, this video is worth watching. Now let's get started. If you want to build your own personal brand, it would be better to show your personal image on the video cover. So, you'll need a good-looking photo of yourself, or directly capture a frame of your video. Usually, a friendly and confident smile can win viewers' favor. For example, this frame looks good. You can just capture it and save it first. Next, open Photo.com, an online design and photo editing website. It's powerful and very easy to use. Any beginner can create beautiful designs or photos in minutes. Here, let's click custom size. Enter the YouTube thumbnail size, 1280, 720. And then click apply now to enter the design page. First, click uploads in the left menu bar. Upload the image you just captured and click or drag the image to the canvas. If you look closely at this picture, you can find the person is standing in front of a blackboard full of text and graphics. If we add text and title directly onto it, the design will look very messy. And it also affects the audience's reading of the title information. Then, what shall we do at this time? Here are two solutions. The first way is to cut out the person from the picture. With just one click, we can remove the picture background with Photos AI Background Remover. Click Background Remover above, select Smart Portrait Cutout, and wait a few seconds to finish. Next, determine the layout. YouTube thumbnails usually use the left and right layout, that is, people are placed on the right, and text information on the left, or vice versa. It depends on your personal preference. Here we put the person on the right. Then let's select a background color. Click background, and then click color above. Here are some preset colors for you to use directly. Or we can click new color above to choose other colors. How to choose the appropriate background color. In general, I will choose the colors that already appeared on the person. It will make the design look more unified. For example, I can choose the yellow color on the person's t-shirt. Meanwhile, yellow is also one of the most eye-catching colors, which can easily attract attention. After adding the background, we will find that under the yellow background, the person may look a bit dull and not very prominent. So, we can select the person again, click the adjustment icon, and add a little brightness and contrast to him. Next, click Image Style, and choose the third style to give a stroke to the person. Using a white stroke will make the person stand out more. Next, let's add text on the left. Click Text on the left menu bar. Add a text box, and enter the caption. Choose the font Bebus so that the title will look a little more compact. Then click the ellipses above and select the copy function, or use the shortcut Ctrl plus D to copy two texts and enter other texts. For keywords in the title, you can enlarge them to highlight them. Or you can place a color block under them to further emphasize. For example, change the color of the text to white, then click Highlight Color at the top, choose Black. Add a space to the left and right to make it less crowded. Then fine-tune the size and position so that the three lines of the caption are centered with the same spacing. 
looking at the picture as a whole, it still seems a bit monotonous and dull. Try turning the text into italic. Then select all the text and tilt them a little bit. And tilt this person too. So that the picture will look more dynamic and lively. To further enrich the cover, you can add some other color blocks. For example, click on the left side of elements, basic shapes. Select a square shape. Change it to orange. Elongate it. Tilt it at the same angle as the text. Ctrl plus D to make a copy and place it on the top and bottom of the text. Then click the right mouse button and move it to the bottom. Alternatively, you can rotate the angle of the upper one color block and put it between the person and the text to divide the layout. Finally, fine-tune the size and position of the elements. And you got your YouTube thumbnail now. Now, let's briefly talk about the second method. Click New Page on the right to create a new page, and click Uploads to add the previous screenshot to the canvas. This time, instead of removing the image background, place it directly on the left side, and add a color block on the right to divide the cover into two parts. The color block is also set to yellow, slightly tilted, so that the design is not too dull. Next, click on the right side, go back to the previous design, select all the text, Ctrl plus C, then go back to the new design, and Ctrl plus V to paste. Rotate the text to horizontal. Change the highlight color to orange and add a highlight color for business as well. Here we can do a some design to make the thumbnail more three-dimensional. Click on the left side of the text, add a space, let the text box slightly beyond the edge of the yellow block, and then click on the elements on the left, select a triangle shape, change the color to orange. Reduce it, rotate the angle, and align the left corner with the lower corner of the text block. Adjust the triangle layer to the yellow color block below. Next, select the text, click on the effects above, and select the shadow style to add a little projection to the text. Let's do the same for the text below, so that the design has a bit of depth. Finally, fine-tune the element size and position. and you have another style of YouTube thumbnail. Finally, click download in the upper right corner, select high definition JPG format, and download your YouTube thumbnail to your computer. Have you learned it? Besides making your own video cover from scratch, Fodor also provides you with various YouTube thumbnail templates, which are easy to use by simply changing the images and text. Follow me to learn more about graphic design and photo editing.